You should react Andy to this. I'm just going to look at the title. I'm not going to stop recommending National. I'm not watching that. It's it's probably a few good takes, but with a bait title. So you watch it. There's a summary of the video. Hey, Shangling and Singcho are constellation dependent. And there's some teams you could play like Hyperbloom that can give you more output. And it's probably kind of true, kind of not true. You're welcome. He hates Hyperbloom. Okay. I don't like when people paraphrase another person. Listen, now you guys are paraphrasing another creator. Because now if I all I hear is they hate Hyperbloom. Because now I'm taking your word. And if the word is they hate Hyperbloom, then why would you hate a super free to play friendly, easy team that invalidates a lot of the single target carries you would otherwise pull for? That's just great. And that costs like nothing to build other than EM. But see, that's probably not what they said. And now I'm going to have to watch it to argue about it. So I don't want to. So fuck all of you. <laughs> they said you hate Hyperbloom? Me? I don't hate Hyperbloom. When the fuck did I say I hate Hyperbloom? I hate that it exists. Actually, that's not true. I, I just think it like makes Hu Tao worse. Because <laughs> why would you pull for a single target carry when you can Hyperbloom? But who cares? Like it's broken. Hyperbloom is cringe. Am I getting one guide? I'm getting one guide. Okay, fine. I'm going to get one guide. Fuck! I'll get one guy. Okay, fine. I will give credit to this person so that I'm not stealing their content, okay? I don't like reacting if I'm stealing the content. Um, with that said, if it's a good video, check it out. If it's a bad video, you know, be normal and don't give them hate. Cool? Cool. We're on the same page. Okay. I don't think dislike ratio is everything, but for the record, I don't have... My most controversial video is this, like... And now it's irrelevant. This is patch 1.6. So now this is going to look stupid, by the way. And this has, like... You know, for the record. Your biggest controversy is when you said you like women and laughed. Dude, say... Okay, listen, I'm going to clarify this. Just saying that sentence out of context is like... It's, it's, it's like... It was like weird and out of context. But yes, I like women. And I would like to assume and hope that my community likes women. And we all do and respect them and are not... There are no misogynists in my community. True and based, okay? It just was a random out... Like you forced me. I was on the spot. I said it and the context was funny. That's all. I don't like reacting to these videos because whatever I say is... I don't like it. I don't like it when I react to someone... Uh, we'll just watch Shout it. Out to the quote-unquote meta side of Genshin <laughs> Legends in the past two years, you know that there is one thing in the game that's just built different than the rest of the roster. Hyperbloom, the legendary elemental reaction that does a more billion damage per rotation. Hyperbloom, a team core that requires no- Also, no one says Hyperbloom is like, like the best like reaction always, by the way, right? Like we know, I'm sure that people here and like theory crafters and stuff know that like you know, I'd rather play Child Shangling and like a lot of other AOE teams than just hyper them all the time. But it's very good and it's very low investment in, in the sense. It's not low investment in the sense of, oh my God, how I try getting an EM goblet. It's so hard. It's like, look, so you're going to get flower and feather are virtually not irrelevant, but like you're going to get them before your other pieces. And then you're going to get an EM either circlet or goblet on top of your sense. The other one can be offset. And the odds of you farming that, especially if it's a set, a domain, like part of the reason about that, because a lot of new people are Flower of Paradise Andes. A big part of Hyperbloom being popular is I got super unlucky on Golden uh, Troop. No, Gilded Dreams. What the fuck is it called? Gilded Dreams. I got really dry on my EM pieces and I still got it passively from farming for a good deep wood, a good crit set for Alhytham, a good crit set for fucking, well, Sino uses TF, but you could use it on Sino or like whoever, right? So a big part of it is you're going to get the EM passively while farming for other shit. If you have to go out of your way to farm Flower of Paradise Lost and try to get the best EM fucking Sands Goblet Circlet on set, yeah, yeah, maybe it'll be easier to get a 60-120 crit ratio on your Shang Ling, maybe. I didn't watch this video yet, by the way. I'm just saying. Because I know that's the thing. Like, people might take this and be like, hey, I got really unlucky on my EM goblet. Let's look at the math of an EM goblet. Like, I get it. But it's like, a big part of it is you're going to passively get either a goblet or a circle. You don't need both. On, like, Golden Troop, which is a very efficient Gilded Dream. Why can't I remember? I keep confusing Golden and Gilded. Whatever. The one with Deepwood. Compared to, like, while you're farming your Deepwood. No investment. No skill expression. No will to live. And no bitches. True. Play optimally. The all in all best, cheapest, most recommendable, most free to play friendly way of clearing the abyss by far. Also, you don't need four golden, by the way. If this is a big argument, I don't know if this is the point of the video, but if it is, you can always go two wanders, two golden, or two golden, two gilded, not golden. Fuck me sideways. You can always go two beasts, two beasts, because it's only a little bit of EM loss. It's not like the biggest fucking deal. Uh, and a, a big part of your team's damage is also like Sing Cho and other characters. Great. It's not just Today, Kooky. To put this into perspective, in a team like this, and this isn't the best Hyperbloom team by any means, but it certainly is a popular one. 
more than half of your total DPS will come from blue numbers, aka your- <sighs> Okay, one thing to say. This is gonna be- I'm sure this video is filled with a bunch of valid uh, points, but you need to understand two things. One, if you're playing Sing Show and Yolan together, yes, they're gonna carry your team. When I'm playing, and like, what's a good example of this? When I'm playing an on-field carry, even- Dude, when I play Hu Tao, Farina, Yolan, and Jean, I oftentimes swirl Hydro, and it's my Hydros that are carrying, not my Hu Tao. I know that's not like the best team, but like a lot of the times, strong Hydro supports are doing more than your fucking reactions. But, and also here you don't have a, like, let's just let them talk. Your Hydro character's personal damage. Believe it or not, every single good Hyperbloom team possesses a damage profile consisting not primarily of Hyperbloom damage, yep. but of Talon damage, sure. like any other good team. Sure. Hyperbloom is simply a good source of sub DPS that you can incorporate into teams. Teams consisting that you can teams consisting of already good units and not needing a lot of investment. Is he gonna say that? Already good synergy. Because you just need a character on, like your healers on full EM. That do damage. It has never been a sole focus okay, no. and should not be regarded as such. Hyperbloom itself does not do anywhere near enough damage to solo carry a team into being good. No. You can't just play Yao Yao, Barbara, DMC, and Kuki and expect a competent team for the sole merit of it being Hyperbloom. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, now that you can if you just change one of the units. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I mean, you actually technically could with this team. It's just the amount of damage you'd gain by just having Synchro would be very high. Test the team in the abyss. <laughs> I mean, we could. Now that we've established the limited nature of Hyperbloom damage in contributing to good Hyperbloom teams, how good actually are those good Hyperbloom teams? Okay, please debunk Alhaitham, Yolan, Kuki, Flex. Or like a team that's not just Nahida on field. Nothing wrong with Nahida on field, but these are the only Hyperbloom teams I've seen. Have I missed some? The only Hyperbloom teams I've seen are Nahida on field. It's the only one I've seen. In the game right now is double Dendro Hyperbloom with Alhaitham, Nahida, yes! Shinobu, and one of the three Singchos. But once again, and even more so with this team than the previous example, Hyperbloom damage only contributes to a fraction yeah, of- Yeah, cause you're running Al Haitham and Farina, no shit! You're running Al Haitham, Farina, of course you don't need the Hyperbloom, but it's a big passive damage source that is literally not, like, it takes no effort at all. You need Electro without Haitham, you need a healer without Haitham. So the Hyperbloom is literally free. It's entirely free. It's fully free. The alternative is running like Fischl. Okay, yeah, Fischl gives you damage, but like, Official Al Haitham is only really good if you can Fischl in between Al Haitham's burst and it's starting. So you have to burst, swap to Fischl, E or Q, and then swap back to Al Haitham, which me testing on the high paying Asia server wasn't consistent. Me doing on my main account, I can do. But if you get interrupted, it fucks it up. So yeah. Totally. He's beefing. I am not beefing at all. I think realistically, I'm going to finish watching this video and be like, this guy has good points, but words it in a bad way. But I think that's their point so that they get, they can t call it like this. Because for example, I think, okay, this is nothing. Like, I don't want to compare this to Zajef because Zajef has mostly good Genshin takes. Well, he has some bad takes, like uh, like everything that I... Listen, we disagree a lot, okay? But I love him. And I think he has a lot of really good meta advice, a lot of really good build advice, a lot of good advice overall. However, the one thing I, I, I think is Zajef's weak point is wording things in a way that doesn't make people hate him. And I think this video so far is like... This community is glorifying Hyperbloom, you fucking losers. Like, I know that's not what he's saying, but it's like, dude, we're, you can present your point differently. DPS. The fact that this team is so strong is very much a combined effort between talent damage and Hyperbloom damage, with talent damage being the main contributor. Yeah, of course. You're playing Alhaitham. Well, Alhaitham's broken. Though, well, really good. Not broken, but that teams really good. Are fantastic. They're by no means outliers compared to the myriad of other top teams that don't make use of Hyperbloom at all. Nivellet carry. Yeah, no shit, Nivellet. I'm gonna cream. Also, also, this team has a significant amount of damage. That's Farina and Yalan, which is the same argument he's making about Hyperbloom. Like a big part of your team's damage isn't just a Hu Tao. But I mean, Hu Tao does a lot here too. Because she vapes like, you know. Vape, Pierce spread Alhatham, Kazuha aggravate, double hydro EC swirl, Lini Mono Pyro, Nilu Bloom, etc, etc. Wait. All of Double Hydro EC Swirl, Linny Mono Pyro. Is this Linny? They don't have, oh, they might not have Linny. They might not have Linny. They might not have Linny. Okay, they don't have Linny. Never mind. No flame, no flame, no flame. They don't have Linny. Et cetera, et cetera. All of these teams listed above and many more are very much competitive and sometimes superior to the best of Hyperbloom teams at any given investment level. Does that mean Hyperbloom teams are bad? No, not at all. 
As I True. said, good Hyperbloom teams are among the best in the game. They just aren't anything special. True. I think, if anything, he's talking to the wrong people that are saying Hyper... Like, no, I don't think I've met a TC saying, like, yeah, Hyperbloom's better than, like, the top meta teams. I think the main argument that I've seen people make and that I have made a lot of times is, like, hey, by the way, Hyperbloom can get you to the DPS check you're looking for to clear the Abyss a lot faster. Like, it can get you there very easily. Not easily, because I know, like, I don't know. A ton of casual content creators saying Hyperbloom is the best. Hyperbloom is really good with low effort. Like, listen, if I'm playing Sino, Singtro, like, not, okay, well, like, yeah, Sino, what does he want? A Dendro character. What's, like, the best support in the game? Singtro. You're literally hyperblooming by accident. Like, you don't need the fucking hyperblooms. They just happen. A lot of teams, or, like, let's say you're playing, like, Singtro. Uh, who's a good carry? I mean, I don't want to use Alhytham again, but we'll use Alhytham again. Let's say you're playing Alhytham, Singtro. No, fuck Singtro. Alhytham, Electro. There's, like, no reason not to add a Hydro. Like, unless you're playing, like, Fischl and you, like, don't have EM on your characters, sure. But it's, like, it's so easy to just passively Hyperbloom with your healer because you need a healer in the team. The alternative is, like, okay, you're not running a healer. You could do, like, Fischl, Zhongli, uh, I'll Hythem, and then you can flex the last slot. You might not Hyperbloom, whatever. But it's, like, I don't know. I think it's just, like, free a lot of the times. And it doesn't need a lot of investment and it's really good single target. And a lot of abysses right now are very, uh, one of the two halves, they make it single target. In the past, it's like, it was very AOE abysses when Venti was really good. I agree, low investment argument is kind of bad because most people don't have a limit to high investment. You could be talking about 100K resin artifacts, for example. Yeah, but, oh, okay, okay. This is important. I need to specify this, okay? We are talking about the floor not ceiling, right? Yeah. The floor to nine star clear floor 12. That's it. That's all that fucking matters. And I, like, I get it. You might want to speed run. You might want to clear way faster. You might want to get a fucking 300 crit damage out like this guy. I get it. But the bar to nine star abyss is what matters for most. Like when we talk about low investment, when we talk about ease of access, when we talk about people just wanting to fucking get their primo gems. That's what we're looking for. It's the ease of just getting to that level, which is why I'm saying things like you can clear with any character in the game, but it might take you a bit harder to clear with fucking like, I was going to say Noel, but Noel's actually pretty good with Farina. You know, decent. Um, you know, like Razor. No, Razor, you can... Dude, every character has a team! Whatever. Barbara DPS, she can hyper bloom. Well... Although Hyperbloom teams don't necessarily do more than other good teams in the end, surely they're still the fastest way of reaching damage thresholds at lower investment. Watch, she's gonna right? average the chance of an EM well, goblet. Watch, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. No. The idea that Hyperbloom requires lower investment is fundamentally wrong in two ways. Firstly, as I would explain earlier, building just a Hyperbloom trigger will not get you anywhere near the damage of a full team. In other words, playing Hyperbloom does not spare you from needing to build other characters. Yep. Secondly, getting a full EM main stat set for Hyperbloom is not necessarily Check the heat double faster than simply building a DPS set for Should a I? talent damage dealer to begin with. I know multiple people with top ranking Wanderer sets by the time their flop domain finally decided to Yeah! Flop. Stop doing flop! Okay, I said this earlier. Listen, a big reason I pretend flop doesn't exist is because you need to build a dendro character for Hyperbloom anyways. You want good Deepwood, you probably want good Gilded. So you're gonna get Gilded as you're farming. Like, let's say you want to build your Alhytham or your Sino. Do you know what's cool? As you get good crit, you're also gonna get EM pieces. It's not just like, if you calculate in a vacuum how much EM it takes you to get, like how much resin it takes you to get a good EM set, it might look bad, okay? If all you want from... All you want for your Hyperbloom team is just Flower of Paradise Lost. You might have a better time. And this is a good point. I'll give it to him. You might, I, he didn't even make the point yet, but I'm sure he will. You might have a better time going and farming Emblem, building your Singcho, Shangling, Yalan, building another team, than just grinding for EM. And in that case, I would genuinely rather you go two piece 80 EM, two piece 80 EM, and the fucking flop domain can suck my left nut. Sure. But I'm also saying it's a very, like, especially. Uh, the reason why we kind of disavow flop is because, like, unless you want the other domain, you probably have a good gilded. Not accidentally, but, like, as you're farming for the other stats you need. Because so many characters want gilded or deepwood. Especially, and this was especially true before 4.0, because now a lot of characters can use Marie Chaussée. A lot of characters can use Golden Dreams, Golden Troop, Gilded. Fuck! 
the other one, the one that uh, gives you skill damage. Like Fischl, for example, went from her best in slot being four gilded. Well, it was viable. Like you could go for Thunder Soother or Substats, but like four gilded was there. And then Golden Troop now is better. So it's like, it used to be even more true that there was way more of a reason to farm that domain, even if you didn't want to do Hyperloom. Even if you didn't care about Hyperloom, you were farming Golden Troop for like Fischl, Yai, a bunch of supports, Alhytham, a bunch of DPSs, Deepwood for any Dendro character. Like there's so, like even you could use shit on like Tanari. Like there's so many characters that could use that shit. But now I will admit there's more of a reason to do other domains with the release of 4.0 onwards. So if you literally don't need any set. Well, you still want Deepwood if you're playing Hyperloom. So my point still stands. But if you don't need any of them, then yeah, it might be a waste to just fucking farm flop for EM. Drop an unset EM goblet for them. With just how utterly rare elemental mastery main stats are, it actually requires a very comparable. Oh my god, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Kill me now. For Hyperbloom, as it is to acquire a basic functional set for any given crit scaling damage dealer. And it is actually faster to farm a serviceable set for characters who can utilize more substats or main stats like Hu Tao, Xiangling, or Navi Light. Building a competent Hyperbloom trigger oftentimes is equivalent to building a good sub DPS in terms of resin investment and gain for your damage. It is a perfectly valid option to pursue if the units on your account line up for it nicely, but it is not inherently easier or quicker to accomplish That's true. than the other options. Like, well, it. <laughs> It's true, but also you can do two piece, two piece, or you can, yeah, you can literally, okay, I don't have the math on this. So if I'm wrong, spank me, but you literally can go for like a four star goblet, right? Like you can literally use, like, let's say you're super unlucky. Can't you do like a four star EM goblet? You lose what, four levels? I know this is fields crafting, but like, is it really going to fuck you that hard? And it's like, at the same time, you're farming the, like an efficient domain. Do, or like Deepwood is a very efficient domain. Gen generally, like unless you literally don't care about your uh, dendro character anymore. Oh, they stack Wait a second. Hyper okay, guys, am I? Okay, I actually forgot about this. Isn't Eula's highest DPS team a Hyperbloom team? Like objectively, I am not joking right now. I don't know. Like answer me. Is wasn't it actually the highest? Like there's a reason why f not anymore because of Farina. Okay, before Farina, sure, before Farina. Uh, uh, Farina's actually cracked, by the way. People are saying Farina's like, ah, she's not that... Farina's actually cracked. But anyways, there's a big reason why whenever I'm doing like a Fremen showcase, I just chuck him in a Hyperbloom team. Because the other characters in that team kind of fucking carry while you're on field and Cryo has synergy there. Does that mean it's inherently the most low investment? No. Well, it is actually because of the other stuff I talked about. And definitely don't try to evaluate them by how they perform in Hyperbloom teams when they have no inherent synergy with it. Believe it or not, the best way to get Risley to clear Abyss for a new player will never be to build a hyper- Yeah, obviously around. not. It's Risley. If you like the shits and giggles of seeing colorful numbers on your screen, all the power to you. Just know that what you're doing is a meme and not a real recommendation. Fridge isn't a worthless interaction. You actually get more blooms per, hyper, uh, per Hydro app because the Hydro will freeze and then bloom and then you'll get more Dendro cores uh, per each. But it is what it is. You know, it's okay. Ah, <sighs> that was a lot of ranting. Once again, please subscribe so I can do more of these videos. The I mean, rest, like, look, team series will I get it. Team. If you're a dumbass and you, okay, not a dumbass, sorry. If you're uh, like, if you're like new to the game, right? Like, obviously, like, there's no shame in being new or not knowing stuff. I don't want it to seem like I'm like being like that because it doesn't matter. Like, the less knowledge you have about Genshin, the better because it means you touch more grass. So you're better than me. I'm just saying. Let's say you're like, Unga Boonga, right? You're like, Unga Boonga, Hyper Bloom, good. I don't need to level my talents or my characters or like, well, you need to level your characters, but. I don't care about my talents. I don't care about my characters. Hyper Bloom. Yeah, obviously you want your signature to do damage. Yeah, obviously you want your other characters to deal damage. If you're building your team for the Hyper Bloom reaction damage and nothing else, like literally nothing else, yes, it's not ideal. I mean, dude, it worked. It, like, obviously you want your Hydro character, which is like the most broken fucking element in the game to do damage too. Yeah, you want your like Dendro character to do damage if they can. Yeah, but like, even without that, I think it low-key works a little. Whoever told him to react to this? Dude, it's not a stun lock! Someone agree about makes Hyperloom ch Thank you, Danny! I will, I will give you a kiss right now. I will give you a kiss right now. What makes Hyperloom cheap is the domain itself. Deep and Guild are two really good sets to be used on a lot of different characters. True. Also, Electro Dendro Hydra is really good. True. Also true. Comfort-esque autopilot gameplay. Instant amount of variations. Not good. Yeah, true. But also, like... Okay, obviously, you shouldn't build your account around having a team that just has a Hyperloom character and no one else do damage. But I also feel like even if you do that, you should, you might still be able, like, you probably still will be able to clear. 
Am I wrong? Like, I feel like we can do a dog shit ass team, but it'll still work. I think it's just, I mean, it's it's fine. It's, I shouldn't even react to stuff like this because it's probably decent points, but we're in a way that's very clickbaitable, which is okay. Like I respect the grind, but like, if I'm coping, say Zox, you're fucking coping. But like, not only do you not need substats on these pieces, but like, you literally could like i don't i threw away my four star ones but literally during the farming process you can dead ass use a four star how much em less is this i'm actually gonna level this i don't care so 139 instead of 187. wow zox can't math that's 50 minus two right 50 minus two so 48. that's literally not even bad you can literally i mean it's pretty bad but bro it's one piece if you're unlucky like on average you'll probably get a main stat of either a goblet or a circlet not both well and sand so two of the three while farming for your other characters or you minus 48 instead that's the alternative minus 48. okay do you guys not understand well not you guys but like the one guy in chat not understand that off pieces exist and you're also gonna like first of all on average farming this domain you're gonna get EM if you're building other characters at the same time. But if you don't, because let's say for some reason it's not an efficient domain for you, which usually it will be, especially if you're playing a dendro team where you need deep wood anyways, one four star on set and then an off piece. Like, dude, all you need is one of the three then because you have one of the three on set, one of the three offset from just playing the game and then one of the three as a four star, which is a lot easier. You can't clear abyss with that? Yes, you can. You think you need the 40 EM to clear abyss? 40. Do you know what a big thing for Hyperbloom when it came out? I feel like, okay, no disrespect to this person. Like, action no disrespect. Like, it is what it is. I feel like, they, like, it's like as if they started playing today. Like, yeah, maybe today you're farming Flop and you have Farina and you don't, well, if you have Farina, you can still play that team, but then you don't want to do Deep Wood for some reason. Cool. Don't do it. But like, not only was the domain efficient, also, guess who has played in every team, but not Hyperbloom. This motherfucker. Yeah, now there's more teams with Freena and like there's other stuff you can do. Sure. But guess who has played in literally every team that wasn't Hyperbloom and like some Dendro react like Dendro reactions. Which is a big reason why, hey man, you want to play your really strong Bennett team? Well, guess what you're doing second half? Uh, I don't know, the Hydro character, well, she wasn't out, but Hydro character, uh, maybe a Dendro character, maybe an Electro, and you don't even need a last character. 100 minute intro. I'm very like understanding of like i know how youtube works so i get that even if you have a good point if you word in a bad way people will get mad at you but i think like some of the takes are good some of them are just like like why are you choosing to have that argument it's like i don't know to the people that think you just like can build no team but just have a reaction and not level your characters and not build your characters sure